Democrats joining the calls for President Biden to drop out of the race. It comes as the president prepares for his first solo press conference in eight months. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. The clock is ticking on President Biden's re-election bid. It's up to the president to decide if he is going to run. Uh, we're all encouraging him uh, to, to make that decision uh, because time is running short. So far, less than a dozen Democrats on Capitol Hill are publicly calling on the 81-year-old to step aside, citing fears he won't beat former President Trump. The majority are backing him. I will tell you when I'm telling my uh, constituents at home, it was a very rough debate night. If you elect Donald Trump, it will be four years of horrifically rough nights. Others in the party say the focus should be on issues like protecting democracy. Trump, who is unfit to be president, tried to overturn an election, uh, which is disqualifying. Former President Trump has said he believes Biden will stay in the race. Those on Trump's short list for vice president agree. I think he's pretty dug in. Major Democratic fundraiser and actor George Clooney is among a growing number of people urging the party to pick a new nominee. Writing in an op-ed, we are not going to win in November with this president. Some Americans say they'll support the top of the ticket no matter what. I'll back the Democratic nominee. Period. Period. Either way. Either way, because to save the country. Today, President Biden is seeking to make his case to the country during his first solo press conference of the year. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And keep in mind, next Monday, right here on WCNC Charlotte, NBC News anchor Lester Holt will sit down with the president for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Catch a preview on NBC Nightly News Monday, followed by the full unedited interview in primetime. That's at 9 p.m. right here on WCNC Charlotte.